One example of how I used the 40-day calendar or a cycle was to be able to create a goal for myself that involved walking. I wanted to walk the equivalent distance from uh, distance from the west coast of Canada to the east coast, St. John's, from Victoria, B.C. to St. John's. The distance is approximately 5,200 kilometers or 3,232 miles. My goal was to walk that distance over a period of one year. I accomplished that last year, and this year I'm walking back, so to speak. How did I do that? I took the large goal, this large goal of 5,200 kilometers, the 3,232 miles, and broke it down to 100 kilometers a week, or 62.13 miles. This, for me, works out to a minimum of 140 steps a week, which further, if I break it down further, is 20,000 steps a day over seven days a week. If I want a day off, I just need to increase the 20,000 to a little more. You can further break it down to 10,000 steps in the morning and 10,000 steps in the afternoon or evening. And the goal, no matter how big, can be achieved. Every goal has to be broken down to achievable or doable goals. Similarly, our activity on a regular basis will propel growth. Only building a rock solid foundation will help us achieve our goals. MDRT, COT and TOT are not made in a day generally, but using sound financial foundational work day in and day out will help us achieve what is that we want to achieve professionally. Each person has to figure out what the goals are. In my case, I had to come, come up with a process or a process, as Americans say, um, or a protocol to set goals, to be, most of all, to be accountable to myself and to my friends who are like my board of directors. Let's start with uh, a few, 10 things, for example. First, make a list of what your professional and personal goals are. The next for me was to come up with three contacts daily during these times for a non-face-to-face -face interview. For some, it might be only one interview. Do what is best for you. Third, research one, three, or five new contacts or prospects to add to your list for the following week. Zoom calls, phone calls, or contact in some way, perhaps emails. Now, fitness goals. Do you want to ensure uh, you're exercising continues for three days, five days, or more per week? If so, what is that you want to achieve through exercise? Under the whole person concept, do you add family time and other related issues? Yes, I believe. Then you come to number five. What do you need to add or delete to improve any other aspect of your personal or professional life? Number six would be, do you have a goal to add for your charitable gifting to your temple, mosque, church, and so on? Now, I would ask you here to consider the MDRT Foundation or for Canadians, the Canadian MDRT Foundation. Remember, your butcher, your doctor, or your grocer will not give money to the foundation. You have to honor the foundation of your profession by giving them on a weekly, monthly, or, daily, or annual basis. If you don't give, who will? Number seven is add healthy food goals. Number eight would be add medical improvements to the list of what you want to increase or change. If one has high blood pressure, can they monitor the improvements over the next 40 days? I believe they can. If one is a diabetic, like a type two, can they improve the blood sugar levels? Now, again, I'm not offering you medical advice. I'm asking you to just monitor, make the changes with health, positive attitude, and your exercise built into then monitoring all these activities to see if there's any positive change. Number nine, add whatever else you want to see in the terms of reading new books or taking new courses that might improve you personally or financially or uh, professionally. And number 10 would be any miscellaneous items out of missed you can add to your list. Remember, it's easier to add eight or 10 things to the list than just work on one thing. Monitor daily, monitor weekly, the cycle carefully. Track the progress and deficiencies and then adjust accordingly. Remember, if you fall, fall off the 40-day cycle, don't worry. My late grandmother, a woman of strong faith and a living God, taught me that falling down is not a sin, but failing to get up is. Once we get back up again, we can restart a 40-day cycle. For some, it takes two, three, or four or five, depending on how many 40-day cycles can you do in a year. 